You again. Hmm. fortnight into our voyage. I was more or less living inside the creature's ribcage. It meant shelter, and it meant food. The flesh was starting to rot. The stench was unlike anything I'd ever smelled. As we floated, the temperature dropped, and the rotten meat began to stiffen and freeze. Slowly, almost imperceptibly, the Reaper began to lose buoyancy. We sank a little each day. My sanctuary was becoming my tomb, and I was at the mercy of the current and the winds. Until one day, I saw a smattering of penguins in the distance. Swimming birds usually mean solid land of some kind. I was lucky. The winds followed their path. Hours later, I saw a blessed sight. An unmoving cloud sitting upon the water. Land. It renewed my spirit as I watched the land get closer and closer. The Reaper slowly sank, but I was no longer worried. When the Reaper finally sank below the water, I was close enough to lazily swim my way to shore. I made a note to come back for the Reaper's skull. I didn't ride the beast for three weeks to have no proof. Land never felt so good, even in this arctic hell.
crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important below. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. You have scanned all the components we need to make a storage uh, and body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Great! What's next? Let's get you out of my head. First, you must find the fabrication facility. It is concealed at some depths. Fabrication facility? So you planned on needing to make new bodies? It is a standard medical facility. A medical facility where you just replace your whole body when it wears out? Sounds a little beyond standard to me. Ours was a research mission of the highest importance. So... What were you, a scientist like me? I am a scientist now. So what happened? Your team found the vaccine and then... Please, Robin, you have the components. Find the facility and construct the body. Okay, but don't think I don't notice you changing the topic.
sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. Unable to identify. to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. So, you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacterium? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Commencing storage means in fabrication. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. What are you doing? Research. 
search. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Kidding. No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But? It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. I was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA.
Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. What did Altera use this place for? Researchers here were trying to find me. Was this Sam's space? What was she doing all the way out here? Potato. You were a good cat. I don't think I have a choice. I have to neutralize the bacteria myself. I'm a little nervous. Okay, terrified. But this thing is a death sentence. We shouldn't be messing around with it. I'm no biologist, I know. So does everyone else here. I haven't spoken to Danny since we fought about it. Zeta said she'd handle it and then didn't. Lil practically begged me to drop it. This is completely beyond the scope of your work. You have to stop before you jeopardize your standing with the company. 
I don't want good standing with a transgov that would do this. Robin tried to warn me. Maybe she was right, and Altera really is unfixable. Maybe I deserve better than this. We all do. I've synthesized the antibacterial agent. <laughs> I know my biochem at least well enough to do that much. I've stashed some away in one of the Penguin research caves, southeast of the Leviathan. That was probably the easy part. Now I just have to carry out the plan. Focus, be brave, worry about what happens next after the threat is neutralized. They're going to know it was me. If they send me home, when they send me home, where the ice isn't 20 feet thick, they can get my Augie bun back. We can cuddle under a nice warm blanket. Things with Robin will thaw out. They always do. Besides, I think she'll respect this. And then, maybe I'll start my own research outfit with an awesome team. I'd love to work on prosthetics again. Help people find peace and ease in their bodies. No more cold. No more spying. Nothing that can be misused. <sighs> All right. Now's my time. I've got this. Motivational posters were banned from Xenoworks following a lengthy discussion at the annual company retreat three years ago. This poster is technically contraband. Ah, oh, my darlings, Brian, Svea, and Oren, I'm counting the days until I can come home and give you all the hugs and kisses. Since my research project was cancelled, they have me at a place called Outpost Zero doing nothing much. Just cataloguing things, plants, the occasional animal, but it's mostly ice where I am, so there's not a lot of new stuff to find. Svea and Oren, you know how you get bored when your hover dance teacher makes you practice skills 15 minutes over schedule and it eats up your freestyle time? It's a bit like that. But I have a new roommate, Samantha, a roboticist. You should see her little bangling box. Oren, you'd love them. But she got management upset. I guess this is just where they send you if they decide you're too much trouble. I'm kind of glad she's here, though. I was getting lonely. I'm still trying quietly. I don't want any more trouble to figure out where I went wrong. I was sure. I picked up a distress signal. I, I was right on top of it, and then it just stopped. What if someone, an architect, is still down there and, and needs help? I'll be home before I ever get to find out, and it will fall to some future researcher to come and find out, I guess. I, I hope but oh, I can't wait to be home with you. When are you going to send me some more art? There's still a patch of bare wall here that could use some color and a touch of genius. I miss you. I love you. I hope you're still proud of me. I'm proud of you. Potato. I miss that fluffy little couch walrus. Hey Sam, you want to say hi to my kids? I told them I'd show them a day in the life of a scientist. <laughs> of course. Hi Orin, hi Svea. Tell us what you're working on. Oh, um, this is a personal project. Looks more like biology than robotics. Yeah, I was just thinking, I know no one is on my side with this, but what if I just found a way to take care of the deadly bacterium? I, uh, I wouldn't say no one is on your side. I'm on your side. I know, but you won't say anything to Emmanuel or Zeta, anyone. What effect would it have if I did? I'm not exactly employee of the month right now. I know. I wouldn't want you to risk more than you already have. I'm sorry. 
I wish I could do more. What? What are you working on there? What do you mean by take care of the deadly bacterium? Uh, is that thing still recording? Oh, right. Uh, so, that was Sam, kids. I'll turn this off now. While other teams have been pursuing more nebulous approaches to awakening the architects, I've tried to take a more practical approach. We know these part organic, part digital beings stored what they thought of as themselves on computers within their sanctuaries. And we know efforts to wait or communicate with them have been in vain. My theory is that to make first contact, these digital ghosts must first be recombined with an organic component. As Dr. Kaz Slaney's classic study noted, we know they had means to grow cybernetic bodies and to transfer their data patterns between them. There is a known probable architect sanctuary in this sector, but entry is not currently possible. If I can get inside and present the right vessel, I do think we will be successful. I all wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Voltaire. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleporter, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time? Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the homeworld safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. different.
and I will initiate a ship assembly. Thank you. The masks are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. calibrated for heavier bodies. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah, you could say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Launching in three, two, one. when we get there. If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming.